Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about odontoblast, the second most predominant cell of the pulp. Let's get started. So, odontoblast, as I've told you already, is the second most predominant pulpal cell. The number of odontoblasts is equal to the number of dentinal tubules. These are located adjacent to the predentine within the cell bodies of the pulp and cell processes are present in the dentinal tubules. This is a diagrammatic representation of uh, an odontoblast cell. These are basically present near the pulpal predentine. Cell bodies they touch with, with each other. The cell cytoplasm is devoid of organelles. So these are what tall, they have tall columna cell bodies. Their length or height is about 40 micrometers with 5 to 7 micrometers width. So 5 to 7 micrometers width is near the base of the cell and near the apex they have a width of around 3 to 4 micrometers. They have a oval nuclei filling the basal part of the cell. Along with that they have Golgi apparatus, rough endoplasmic reticulum which are abundant at the apex. Mitochondria. See, they have focal junctional complexes in which actin filaments are inserted and they have long cell processes. These cell processes they do not contain any endoplasmic reticulum or mitochondria and vesicles. Okay, now the two odontoblast cells they are attached to each other with the help with the help of gap, desmosomal or tight junctions. Now we'll be talking about See, the gap, desmosomal and tight junctions are the terminal bar apparatus of the odontoblast cells. Okay. Now, we'll be talking about the phases in the odontoblastic cell. There are three different phases in which a odontoblast cell cycles. It is active phase, transitional phase and resting phase. Okay. Active phase, transitional phase and rest phase. So, this is the odontoblast of active phase. And this is the odontoblast of rest phase. We can see that the odontoblast in the active phase is elongated, whereas that in the rest phase is very stubby. The uh, active phase odontoblast has basophilic cytoplasm with basal nucleus, prominent Golgi apparatus. More prominent Golgi apparatus, more abundant rough endoplasmic reticulum, and numerous mitochondria. Along with that, many vesicles at the periphery of the processes are present. These indicate protein synthesis along the tubule wall. Okay, so when the cell converts from active phase to rest phase, the cell organelles they undergo autophagocytosis. So, the stubby resting cell has a hematoxophilic nucleus, little cytoplasm and it is filled with, it is, it, the cytoplasm consists of lipid filled vacuoles in the supranuclear region. So, a transitional phase between the active phase and a resting phase shows the cells which is at an intermediate stage, the cells are narrower with few organelles and autophagic vacuoles. Next, if we talk about functions, then they secrete non-collagenous proteins. Odontoblasts are long-lived end cells. Okay, When they die, they are replaced by cells which differentiate from the cell uh, cell ridge zone that is undifferentiated ectomesenchymal cells from the cell ridge zone the odontoblasts and the subodontoblasts they 
release apoptotic cell marker that is bcl2 leading to apoptotic cell death third function is the release of inflammatory intra intraleukins chemotactic for the neutrophils last function is cell proliferation and vasodilation so they mediate cell proliferation and vasodilation this is it about the odontoblast cells stay tuned keep visiting thank you